Cardiovascular disease is now the leading cause of death, believe it or not, in pregnant women. This according to the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology. In our HealthCast today, we're going to take a closer look at who is at a higher risk for heart-related complications when they're pregnant. Over the years, 38-year-old Kayana Brown has had difficult pregnancies. Each pregnancy, I have to be fully like monitored really closely, uh, go to perinatal specialist, really monitor my pressures, and I adapted my diet and my lifestyle to help to sustain the pregnancy and to, you know, possibly save my life. Kayana is among six to eight percent of women who develop pregnancy-induced hypertension. Hello. While dangerous in and of itself, Broward Health heart failure specialist Dr. Yordanka Reyna says it can also lead to preeclampsia, which can affect other organs. It can affect the lungs by causing uh, fluid in the lungs. It can affect the kidneys, the livers, and it just makes the other organs, um, you know, inflamed or, or dysfunctional. Well, in many cases, it does go away after birth. Dr. Reyna says there are cases like Kayana's where it leads to persistent long-term hypertension, elevating the risk of other complications. Yeah. They have to be aware that this puts them at higher risk of developing heart disease. Actually, it increases the risk of heart disease and stroke by a twofold. Yeah. Kayana will always have to be on blood pressure medication and needs to be closely monitored for her blood sugar and her cholesterol levels. When I look at my kids, I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful that I didn't give up and that I had the right team of people, providers, family that supported and encouraged me along the way each time. And those are some cute little kids. All right, yeah, well, African-American women are at a higher risk of developing pregnancy-induced hypertension because of genetics, sensitivity to salt, weight, and diabetes, which is actually higher also in the black community.